Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Bowls. I have an update for you today on my mini terrarium and how the hatchling is doing in there. If you remember, this was a video for beginners on how to set up a less than ideal terrarium and make it work. And the terrarium is certainly working. But there was also a secondary objective of seeing how the snake actually behaves in the terrarium. So let's take a look. And let me give you guys a quick update on the terrarium. Uh, you can see I've made a couple of modifications. Uh, the first one being I've put paper over the top 
of the terranium to stop the snake from climbing and pushing and probing on the lid. For the first few days it was in here, it was climbing up to the top and trying to push its way out and I didn't like that behaviour so I covered the roof with this brown paper and that has actually stopped it from climbing completely. After the first couple of days this snake disappeared and has not moved since. Uh, it's been over a week and it has not climbed once. All of this stuff at the top has been a little bit of a waste of space but let me undo the paper at the top because it's very dark inside here with the paper over the top so that you can see a little bit more clearly. I've also added a hide at the top of the tree here. Um, that was also in an attempt to get the snake to feel more comfortable uh, as it was climbing because it was huffing as I've demonstrated. It wasn't relaxed, a uh, very clumsy climber. Uh, so I wanted to put a hide in at the top to uh, let it use the hide if it wanted to and it hasn't. It hasn't been up there since I covered the top of the terranium. So again uh, another small modification I made. I'll leave it in there and I'll let you guys know if this guy does decide to climb but he is actually tucked away. Uh, I think when I made the terranium I pointed out the back corner was an ideal place for a snake to hide uh, behind all that vegetation and that is in fact where this snake has been for the last week. It hasn't moved hardly at all. He has eaten, he refused to eat while he was up in the tree but once he came back down onto the ground I waited about 12 hours and fed him and he ate without hesitation on the ground. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you guys and show you where he's hiding. So down in this back corner down here if I shift the vegetation aside you can see that he's curled up right down there in that back dark corner. So that's where he's living, that's the update on my terranium. Uh, the water bowl has been replaced a couple of times, I've given him fresh water but I haven't attempted to clean yet, I can't see whether he's pooed and it makes the snake extremely difficult both to find and to clean the enclosure if I need to so I'll update you on that it's going to be a bit of a pain when I do have to do a clean but so far I haven't had to the snake hasn't budged out of his hide at the back if he poos in the back there I'm sure he will move snakes don't like to sit in their own poo he'll move and I'll know it's time to clean so I'll update you guys on the terranium this guy is going to stay with me he is going to live in this terranium and even though he is not climbing at all I will not change the terranium until we upgrade, until he grows a little bit, so we'll follow this guy along and see how he does in this style of terranium, but I can report back that he has completely stopped climbing, he does not climb at all. So I'll just zoom back out, I have actually refastened the paper on the top of the terranium. I did a little experiment when I noticed that he'd stopped climbing, I actually opened the top to see whether he would start climbing again and start probing to find a way out but he did not. Um, it appears now that he has found his little space down there and he has stopped climbing altogether so removing the paper and showing him daylight above the top of the terranium hasn't actually made any difference. I thought it might make him start climbing again uh, but it didn't. The climbing appears to be him simply probing the limits of the terranium to try to find an escape route as I said, clumsy climber, not at all at ease up in the branches there, huffing and uh, not comfortable and also very nervous if I opened the terranium while he was actually climbing. He's very exposed up there and he certainly feels it. Uh, the response he gave me when I approached the terranium when he was climbing was very defensive, uh, which he doesn't do on the ground. He's quite relaxed on the ground. So that's been a significant improvement in both behaviour and a small modification to the terranium. So there you go guys. Okay guys, so there's the update. There are some interesting observations there, not the least of which that after that initial 
unsettled period when the snake was poking around all over the terrarium trying to escape the snake did actually settle down and I have this beautiful looking terrarium here and I haven't seen the snake for a whole week so in terms of looking at a naturalistic setting uh, yes but um, where's the snake in terms of looking after the snake when you have 30 or 40 other hatchlings to look after uh, this makes it unfortunately uh, just too difficult I could not keep all of my hatchlings in this sort of setup it is just too, too much hard work the snake itself hasn't budged from the corner of the terrarium for a whole week so it may as well have been in a tub for all the use it's getting out of the terrarium so I have no doubt that these naturalistic terrariums are more for the keeper than they are for the snake the snake may as well have been in a tub and um, just at a glance I can see all my hatchlings here in the tubs and I can see at a glance that they're all perfectly okay in the terrarium I have to fiddle around, try and find the snake, dig it out and find out whether it's okay. Which it invariably is, but that's not the point of keeping it in a terrarium. As I said, for me, it may as well be in a tub. So, we're going to keep this snake in the terrarium and keep pressing ahead to see how it does grow. I'm not going to give up that easily. The whole point is to see how a terrarium works and how the snake responds in the terrarium. So we'll keep going and I'll give you future updates as we go along. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.